suspect accused of killing an Eastman police officer over the weekend was officially charged with murder. According to the GBI, 24-year-old Royheem Deeds shot and killed Officer Tim Smith on Saturday. Deeds, his sister, and her boyfriend were all arrested yesterday after a traffic stop in Florida. Friend Sean Deeds and her boyfriend Jamil Mitchell are charged with hindering. There's still no word on where the three will be taken into custody. And we're hearing from a witness who says the he saw the moments that Eastman police officer was shot and killed over the weekend. The man told me he's still in shock and wants violence in his neighborhood to stop. I was parked right at my driveway there, and the police, he was laying right down beside the door there. To see, uh, you know, the police down there, you know, like that. Edward Wilcox has lived on Main Street in Eastman for nearly 50 years. He says Saturday's shooting that killed Officer Tim Smith has left him nervous to go outside. It's just scary, you know. Yeah, I go out now, I, I, I'll be looking behind me, front, seeing is anybody behind me. Smith was shot and killed feet away from Wilcox's front doorstep. Eastman Police Chief Becky Sheffield says it's the first time one of her officers lost their lives this way. We had an officer that was killed in a car wreck, but we never had one like this, never. Wilcox remembers the night vividly, watching another officer and medical staff try to keep Smith alive. So after Emily has got that, he still would try to keep him awake, you know. Tim, Tim, stay with us, stay with us, Tim. He died a short time later. Wilcox pointed out violence isn't uncommon in that neighborhood. Ten years, maybe less than that or more, that he'd got infested back there. You know, there's so much happening back there. I, I don't even go on that street. A concern for him and his family. I was shook up. My wife was shook up. He says while the accused killer was arrested, it'll trouble him for some time. Yes, no, Ricky, you know what I mean? According to the GBI, Officer Smith was shot one time in the torso. He wasn't wearing a bulletproof vest. The funeral for Officer Tim Smith is this Thursday at 2 p.m. at First Baptist Church in Eastman. A viewing for Smith is at 11 that morning. That's also at the church.